Hey guys, Sony Story Sass Assassin. Welcome to another episode of Cigar Review. Now today we have um, well, something different, I guess. Uh, it's called Matilda Limited Explo Ex Exposure Number Two, and this was made in 2022. Now the problem with that is when they release it, they say there's only one size, which is the Toro. But this one, I'm pretty sure, is a Robusto. So <clears throat> I went online and looked. And there is a Robuso version of it, 5x50. All right, 5x50. The wrapper is Ecuadorian Corojo, the binder is Dominican, and the filler is Dominican. So there is such thing, right? Uh, let's um, first take a good look at this particular cigar. Okay, so here's the cigar. As you can see, purple band, chocolate uh, looking wrapper. And um, it's very shiny, uh, very shiny. But e even though on this... Like when you feel the, the cigar itself, it doesn't feel nearly as smooth as this cigar appears to be. But it is it is it is it's got a little sheen to it, right? Uh, you know, minimal vein uh, and it's smooth. But you can see that there is some dot right here, and there's another dot right here that's like you know, not very well done. But that doesn't shouldn't affect the cigar too much. So okay, now we're back here. Let's uh. Start with the flavors. It's a uh, smells kind of like woodsy and caramel, a little bit sweet. Oh, just under that level cap. I don't know. Maybe I should cut more. Put. <clears throat> tastes kind of like um, like a cold draw. Tastes kind of like um, combination of grape, leather, licorice, and some sort of spice. And there's a little bit of sweetness to it too. And maybe a little bit floral. Maybe a little bit floral. Light it up. Now keep in mind this brand is one brand that I don't think I smoke a lot of. Like I don't have never seen this one. This this is a different brand that I'm not used to. <coughs> wow. Pepper. Um, but it's like a chili pepper pepper. It's floral. There is like a baking soda-ish mineral calcium like bitterness on the retro hill you get okay you get coffee and then after that you get a citrus bitterness at the tip of your tongue that's spice it, it, it's kind of harsh. It's kind of harsh. But once the spice goes away, you get a, a little bit floral as well. But well, this is a harsh cigar. Str 
strength is about a medium, I, I, would, I would think. Yeah, that's what I get out of it. So, um, let me smoke one third. I'll be right back. All right. So I'm trying to find out more about this brand called Matilda. And I just went online and searched for it. And as I searched for it, I clicked into the website. And the website literally just gave me an ad, like, like you know, spam website. So th I don't know if they don't upkeep their website, they lost their website or whatnot. But I I'm going to try it again while I'm at it. I'm going to try it again, okay? Matilda Cigar. Um, Skip it. Yeah. Yeah, that website is so gone that I highly, I highly suggest people don't look it up. I'm not even kidding. I'm clicking on it. It goes to congratulations. No, it's one of those fishing thing. Now that's not the biggest. Oh my god, I gotta close them off. Uh, that's not only the the only issue. The only issues the issues that when I was looking for it, I was like, oh shit, that's a that's a spam website. The moment I say that, the cigar exploded. Cigar exploded. So that this is gonna be a very interesting review as I smoke it. I just wanna report that. I wanna record that before I continue. I'll be right back. Oh. Alright, one third. As you can see, I kind of glued that a little bit. It didn't hurt the binder, it's just the outside. I don't know why. So but look at this powdery. Ash is actually not bad. This is uh, very toothy ash. In terms of flavor, there's quite a bit of flavor. I mean, the, the flavor I'm talking about with coffee, some sweetness, licorice, woodsiness, floralness, leather. Um, you know, there there is quite a bit of flavor first. There. It just explodes on me. I don't know why. The draw is okay. I just tried to find out more about this uh, information. I I can't even find an MSRP on this. I can only get, kind of give you a guess. It's about $9, between $9 and $10 MSRP. So um, that's what I'm going with. But first, there, it's not bad. I'm actually kind of impressed, kind of impressed with the uh, with the with the flavor of the cigar. Even with the wrapper kind of explode on me. Uh, you know, all I had to do is just kind of glue a little bit down so that it doesn't flip over, and it and it was burning. It was burning just fine. I did not have to relight it. So, you know, everything's fine. So we'll continue to smoke. Second, third, we'll come back. Um, but unfortunately, I cannot tell you more about this Matilda uh, company because that, that website don't work. What am I supposed to do, right? What am I supposed to do? So yeah, be right back. All right, I'm at two third now. The flavor increased. A lot of notes. A lot of good notes. Pepper ramped up. Strain about still medium, medium plus, if anything. But there's a lot. Very strong note. A little bit salty too. Yeah, sweetness, a lot of sweetness, floral notes, leathery note, but like the, the rapper still doesn't like me. All right. Now he's like, oh, Tony, why do you destroy this? Well, guess what? They decided to glue the band onto the thing. I had so much trouble getting the band off that I literally had to cut it. You can see I cut it just to get it off because this thing is glued onto the, onto the cigar leaf. 100%. So yeah, they don't like me on this one. But somehow, some way, this does not bother the smoke. It does not hurt the construction. It's a dry, it's great. I don't know how that works. But flavor is great. It's great. Okay. And this one, basically, uh, you kind of get a leafy, fishy looking thing with a person staying in the middle. So it's limited exposure. Uh, I guess that's what it is, you know, a person, naked person, but the thing's close, it's, you know, not fully exposed. See the person in there? So it's number two, eliminate exposure. And yeah, purple and gold. This is not a bad band, except that they just poorly put on there. All right. So last, uh, I'm going to try to smoke through this without destroying this even more. And uh, we'll go to the summer. All right. I'm done with the cigar. Um... Last third, all the notes just kind of move to the retro hill. Uh, regular puff doesn't give you that uh, enough of that flavor anymore, but still a good cigar. Uh, the cigar the MSRP between nine and ten. I'll rate the cigar between nine and eleven fifty. It's that flavorful. It's good. 
So I like it. it I, I, I will recommend this cigar. It's pretty good. Um, all the flavor. Sustain it. There's not a lot of change. It's just the change is just stronger flavor, less flavor. That's it. Stronger flavor, less flavor. It didn't go away. It didn't go crazy. Um, overall, it's a pretty good cigar. The ash is actually beautiful. Right? Despite of this thing explodes on me. Ash was beautiful. So I can definitely recommend this cigar. It's a good cigar. Go get it for yourself between $9 and something like that up to $11.50. I would say it's all okay. Uh, and um, yeah. One of those uh, low price cigars that Eric has provided to me. Smoke one if you have one. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of surprised. And I, I don't think he smoked it yet. If he smoked it, he'd be like, yeah, I smoked those. I don't think he smoked it yet. So anyways, uh, in turn of the cigar, I can recommend it. Go try one, go find one. Uh, again, don't go to their website, doesn't work. And um, yeah, that will be it for this cigar review. So if you like the review, make sure to like, subscribe, uh, uh, share, and comment. And uh, if you want early access to some of our videos, make sure to join our membership. Uh, our lowest tier, like, you know, gets early access anyway. So just do the lowest tier, you'll be fine. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.